I was raised in a union household. You know, my dad had been an organizer for the steel workers, and I just think everything my folks taught us had to do with sort of seeing life from the bottom up. But we were taught to be sensitive and to be aware of people who didn't have much. I was raised as a Catholic. Lots of those images uh, are really important to me. Um, you know, the images of, of Mary and Jesus, the mother and child, uh, those, those images are powerful, I think, to all of us. They're really, in some ways, though Christian, they're kind of transcultural. Being here at the MLK Memorial, uh, I'm so glad it's in D.C. I come here often. It's like church in some ways. You know, uh, I've written, uh, you know, a number of poems about him. Near the end of his life, John Coltrane wrote a poem called Reverend King, kind of a free jazz poem. So this poem is on that song, on John Coltrane's Reverend King. Coltrane's breath rushes through the saxophone now. The tune terrors in Vietnam. It prays scared in Selma. Its notes are water hoses, dog teeth, indifference. It sings symphony in Washington, chaos in Chicago. My writing process is similar to that of lots of other poets. Um, I write probably a little bit every day. Uh, I don't have great writing deserts, which I'm really glad of. I know people that do, and I, I don't, so I'm, I'm glad for that. I do a, a fair bit of revising. Uh, the first draft is never a final draft for me. Uh, my first book was Meeting Bone Man, which was uh, really is a kind of, in some ways, it's a poetic response to my mother's death. Uh, I felt like I was seeing death everywhere. Um, and so I literal, literalized it, if that can, I can make that into a word, of seeing this skeletal figure sort of every, everywhere, uh, meeting him. Bone Man goes to the beach, Bone Man loves parties. Uh, Bone Man drives down Wisconsin Avenue. I was just writing all these poems, imagining this figure, I think in lots of ways, trying to come to grips with the loss of my mom. Death. And Gospel of Dust uh, dives headlong into the themes of social justice, uh, inequality, the concerns about racism. I was in LA a couple, last summer and uh, read in the LA Times about Gilberto Ramos, this Guatemalan boy who died crossing the Texas desert by himself. Before you left, your mother draped you with 50 Hail Marys, a rosary of white wood, a constellation she hoped might guide you. But Texas does not know these prayers. It knows that desert air is thirsty and you are made of water. It drank you slowly. I have not written personally, you know, about my own experience of white supremacy, of how white privilege lives in me. I probably need to write those poems. Um, I think, you know, as you get older, I think you want to write poems about what is it like to be an older person in the world. Uh, I, those, the, both of those things scare me a bit, I think, but maybe those are poems to come.